Hey guys, Dr. Ray Marquez here, your local chiropractor at Back Pain Relief Center, and today is our Monday episode of Dr. Ray TV. I believe today is the 13th, and it's about 10 of 6. So today our topic is uh, chronic unresolved neck and back pain. And uh, believe it or not, I was going to have this talk at about 5 o'clock, and um, we had a new patient walk in who had this same condition, so it's kind of ironic. Um, I've just been seeing an awful lot of it lately, and I know I've talked about this a little bit before, but I think it's worth touching again because I continue to, to see the same thing. So, um, what, what is chronic unresolved um, neck or low back pain? Well, it's neck or low back pain that's been, um, hasn't gone away over a series of treatments or a series of times. So it's when you have neck or back pain and you may get some treatment and it feels better, then it comes back and it feels better and, come back and it comes back and it goes on and on. Or maybe it's just it doesn't go away and you have chronic pain and no one's giving you a solid answer or why you can't get it better. Um, what I'm seeing the most is that these patients get diagnosed with degenerative disc disease or degenerative joint disease. And it's a very easy diagnosis for doctors to give patients because just about everybody has it. I mean, we all degenerate. I mean, think over the age of 35, these things start happening and it, it has a lot to do with our lifestyle and our technology, um, how we're positioning our bodies at work and at home. It has to do with repetitive stress type injuries or people that do the same things over and over. It's old car accidents. Um, sometimes it's just good old genetics and you have a predisposition to degenerate a little faster than other people. But it's an easy diagnosis to give, to give a patient a, a cause or a reason for their pain. But it doesn't mean that that has to go unresolved or doesn't, can't get any better. And what I typically see is a patient comes in and they went to their primary. Their primary gives them some medication, tells them to do some ice or do PT. Most people don't do the physical therapy or see a chiropractor. They take some medication. It feels a little better for a little while. And then um, it comes back. So after they do their primary a couple times or if they're going to urgent care, they do it a few times. Um, they, get, they may get sick of that. If they don't come see me, then they'll go to an orthopedic. Now look, I'm 100% pro orthopedic. I send patients to them all the time. But unless they have something they can physically fix, meaning unless they can do a surgery or they can do a particular procedure to fix the problem, they don't have a lot to offer you besides physical therapy and um, maybe some injections or some inflammation um, agents, whether it be a, a, a steroid or some anti-inflammatories or whatever it may be. So patients that get this diagnosis of degenerative disc disease or degenerative joint disease, they think, well, I have this disease and I'm always going to have it and I can't get any better and I just got to take some medication and deal with it and I'm going to be miserable the rest of my life. Well, here's the thing. If, if we look at the words of it, you know, if it's a process of degenerative joint disease, if it's a process, it's something that's continuing to go on, we, we can stop it from getting worse. We might not be able to reverse it. We can get you feeling better, but we can stop that progression of degeneration. And how do we do that? Well, when it comes to our neck and back, when we look at the joints in our spine, it all boils down to a couple things. Number one, it's compression of the joint or the disc. Then that makes the joint dysfunctional. And when it's dysfunctional, it decreases the range of motion. When we have decreased range of motion, it makes it even more dysfunctional and more compression. So it kind of feeds on itself. When all that stuff happens, then we have increased inflammation. Okay, when we get increased inflammation, increased dysfunction, decreased range of motion, our body starts to build up adhesive formations in the joint, in the muscles, the muscle spasms, they get tight, and boom, here we go. We have this issue and our neck and our back hurts, all stemming from that degenerative process. So when I'm getting all these patients in and they're going to all these specialists, why can a simple chiropractor, like why can I help them and they can't? Well, it's because I'm looking at the root of the cause of the problem. And we're looking at it in a conservative way. I'm not saying that the orthopedics don't do a good job. If they, you are at the point where you need surgery on that, and there are times when you need it, they're the guys to see. Um, but until then, on a conservative approach, what we need to do is to get that joint to work better, get the inflammation down, 
decrease the inflammation, increase the range of motion, restore function, and patients begin to feel better. I'm a firm believer that every single person out there has the ability to improve, okay? Maybe not be 100%, but everyone can begin to feel better. So again, let's go back to the type of the patients I'm seeing. Well, I'm getting a lot of neck pains in lately. A lot of neck pain at the base of your neck, almost feels like it's your shoulder, pain radiating down your upper trapezius or down to your shoulder, or even your scapula and out to your arm, maybe all the way down to your fingers. Okay, I see it an awful lot, and a lot of times other physicians think it maybe it's a shoulder problem. It's almost always a neck, okay? Unless we have a torn rotator cuff or something, it's almost always a neck. I see that quite a bit. I see an awful lot of low back, but it's sometimes when they come to see me, they hesitate seeing a chiropractor because they see pain down the leg, but they don't have back pain. So many doctors get confused on where that pain's coming from, whether it's a hip, a knee, an ankle, or the low back. Okay, from what I've seen with majority of them, when it's radiating down your whole leg, it's almost always your back. Okay, and then we'll look at a disc problem once we see that, and then they term the degenerative joint disease or the dege or degenerative disc disease. Okay, again, that process can be stopped or slowed down dramatically and stop the progression of that uh, further degeneration. And we found as chiropractors, what I found throughout the 18 years I've been doing this is spinal manipulative therapy and myofascial manipulative therapy work best in restoring function, decreasing inflammation, increasing range of motion, and restoring function and decreasing pain. Okay, I think if we look at the functionality of that joint, get that to feel better, get that inflammation down, in conjunction with the medical doctors to get some more inflammation down, the patients begin to feel better. All right, so the big point here is if you've been diagnosed with degenerative disc disease or degenerative joint disease, you've had multiple visits at many different specialties or doctors, and you're still not getting to where you need to be, message me on Facebook, or you can reach us at merlesinletchiropractic.com or backpainrc.com if you're in New Jersey, and um, message me, um, I'll talk to you, we'll get you on that road to feeling better. All right, guys, if there's any questions, please message me and um, I will answer all of them. I hope all is well and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a great night and bye-bye.